me. I laugh, I laugh very loudly, and I make some strange noises sometimes. But we found Gwen, Gwendolyn, and her her two little cubs just suckling about. No sign of a teamer, but she could be on the other side with ribbon. I haven't actually gone round at all to have a look. We just arrived here, and it was very sweet. And this is my first time to see the new little cubs. So how cool is that? But they're not as playful as what I would have liked them to be, but that's okay. You can see that they're sitting in the sun and they're also suckling away. They must be very hungry little hyena cubs and at this age it doesn't matter what animal you are but it is important that you get food regularly so that you can develop properly and as quick as possible. You don't want to stay too little out in the big bad African bush for too long. You want to grow up so that you can face all the well the dangerous things that are out here but they are not even just shy of that and they've started to get their shaggy coats at this age they just look strange but they are very sweet though now Shamson you're wondering if the holes in the dens of, well, in the hyena dens, of course, are very deep. I've actually never been inside one, and the odd sort of uh, termite mound I have gone to inspect is either caved in, which is maybe one of the reasons why they didn't use it anymore, but I can only imagine that they must be particularly deep, because if you remember that one on Philemon's cut line, just off Philemon's cut line, we could actually see quite a fair way into the hole and we still wouldn't see those little ones. I have actually gone to have a look around there but again it looks like it had caved in slightly but perhaps when it was active it will go right in. Sometimes the, these sort of network systems, these tunnels, go right through and out the other side. Uh, so yes, and the adults will go in every now and then too. It depends again. We see them spending more time on the outside but sometimes they sit with their bodies sort of half in the hole so they have to be big enough and remember, things like warthogs also utilize burrows like this. And a warthog is not a small animal, especially when there's eight of you living in one hole. So I'm sure that between the hyenas and the warthogs, they do excavate the inside out so that they can still move around comfortably. Right, we're going to go across to Byron, though, but we'll see you back here shortly.